try this again. Happy Sunday, everyone. So I got a new phone and the option to have a horizontal live stream now shows up on my YouTube app for whatever reason. And so I had it set up and I went to go live and then it was saying that I had to rotate my phone. It was unavailable. So I rotated my phone and then it showed up sideways. <laughs> So I don't understand what's going on with YouTube lately. I'm kind of disappointed. Maybe it's time to start looking into like some kind of software that lets you live stream so I can have a better picture. Um, but anyway, if you're watching this on the replay, please hit the like button below and comment um, and just say hi or let me know if you're watching the replay. That way I know how many of you watch it. I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm just gonna play with the camera a little bit here. It's not gonna be perfect. So yeah. Oh well, at least we tried. So in this video, I'm gonna set up a new Traveler's Notebook for 2024 because serendipitously, I finished a whole Traveler's Notebook at the end of 2023. And I posted a video yesterday with a full flip through. So I think it's time to change it up and start our setup for 2024. I think I'm essentially gonna have the same type of setup where I wanna have my calendar notebook and then like a traveler's notebook and then a long form journaling notebook. I'm gonna kind of get rid of my creative planner idea because that just didn't work out well, so. Let's see what we have here. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move my journal into the Traveler's Hotel one, which is the regular brown, and it has like the embossing on the front. I The other regular size I have is the blue leather, but I just, I don't want to use this one. <laughs> this one is too, like, special to me, so I, I don't know. I just feel like I won't carry it around if I put things in there. So let's set up everything in this hotel edition. As I showed in the last video, I was currently using this olive green one, and now I want to switch it up. So let me try to load this video. Again, I'm telling y'all, Something's been going on with YouTube because now it's not showing me that I'm even live. Okay, <laughs> now I can pull it up. I don't know what what's with the delay. Okay, so we're back, cool. So we're gonna set up in this one, put this to the side, and I kind of keep all of my little accessories and things in this Traveler's Company folder. So this is like the extra bands. Um, that way you can have three notebooks and just some information and little other things like this little envelope. I guess, I, cause I have two of these bands, the Traveler's Town and the coffee one. So yeah, let's just see how we're gonna accomplish this setup. Oh, I have a lot of extra bands. This one's like a salmon colored. I really like this mustard yellow color. And I don't remember which ones came with which, so I'm sorry, I, I can't answer that if you were curious. Hey Katie, happy Sunday. How is your day going? I decided I need to do a live stream because it's it's been over a month. And then I had technical difficulties. So my live stream that people were probably in, I had to end it because the YouTube app is just being so weird lately. And then I have this olive band. So maybe we'll change up the bands. I'm not sure. Let's... We decided on our cover. So we're gonna do the hotel one now. And... Oh, I do have like a charm on the hotel one. Um... I don't know if I wanna keep that. So let's kinda take this one off. And I honestly don't remember how I did this before. I think I might have done this on a live stream and you all told me how to do it. So I'm definitely gonna rely on your help to make smart decisions here and not make mistakes because, okay. 
So let's put that one off to the side. I want to do something different. This is a new year. I'm just ready for new stuff. So maybe this olive colored one. Last day of break. Oh, they have off this whole week? Should be crazy and do the blue one? Mm. I think I might be crazy and do a blue one. That just seems so odd that I'm gonna do it. So we go back, I start teaching again on January 22nd. So I have a little bit more time to just enjoy only working my one job. Um, I feel like time has just felt so weird lately. So maybe should I put the coffee one on here with the blue? Whoops. I feel like that's so, yeah. Oh, you all went right until right before Christmas. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda glad that all the holiday stuff is over just because, I don't know. Now how am I gonna put this on here? <laughs> How do people do this? How do y'all remember what you're doing? Um, that doesn't seem right. No, maybe it is right. So, yeah. And then if we tie the little knot thingy. Also, I only had one coffee today, so forgive me. Hey, Kim, happy Sunday. How are you doing? It was sleeting here this morning. It's been really cold, but I love the cold, so I'm not going to complain. You like the blue and brown together? Those are my colors. Blue and brown, bunny weeks. Oh, that's, yeah, let's, let's, re, let's start blue and brown again. Let's make that a thing. Um... I think I out-greened myself. I know green's my favorite color, but like having this green, I've been using this with the, it was just, I, we need to stop with the green for a little bit. So, oh crap, I tied it before I put it back in the notebook. Well, this is practice. Hey Amber, happy Sunday. Hope you don't have to work today. Let us know what you're up to. Um... So I'm actually supposed to go on my little semi-vacation, not really vacation tomorrow, which is why I decided I really need to go live today because I'm not going to be back until Thursday night. Um, I will be going to Atlanta in the morning. And yes, my first stop will be Kino <laughs> Um I took this trip back in November, but... I was under a lot of stress because I had a lot of these like deadlines for school and because school hasn't started yet, I'm like, I should go again. I should go to Kinokunia and go to the Japanese store and like enjoy myself without not having to think too much. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, we put this on. Let's make sure we did it right. I feel like this is right. Right? Yeah. Now, why does it seem loose? Did I not tie it? Um, do I need to make it tighter? Yes, Kim. My plan is, so tomorrow is Monday, right? So I'm going to leave my... I took off tomorrow for my part-time job completely. So I'm going to leave after rush hour. So I'm going to leave my apartment around 9-ish. I feel like rush hour in the South starts later. Like, where I grew up, rush hour is between, like, 7 and 8. But I feel like here it's between 8 and 9. Um, I'm going to go drive down there. It's like a three-and-a-half-hour drive. And I'm going to go to Kinakunia first. So I feel like at noon on a Monday, it should not be crowded. Everyone should be in school or at work. Um, and then there's a really good H-Mart, a super H-Mart next door to it. So I will go get some... 
Now, that feels loose, doesn't it? Maybe it's because we don't have notebooks. Let's wait till we put the notebooks in. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, and then I will also go to one of the Korean spas when I'm down there. Um, and I only go to those things on weekdays too, so I'm excited for that. And there's a really awesome Korean um, coffee shop that I had gone to when I was there last time. And it was just like, absolutely, it's actually, it's called Vincent's Bakery. And it's like designed after like Vincent Van Gogh. It's cool. Um, I actually left a review on Google reviews or whatever. And I keep getting emails that like, like 5,000 people looked at my review or something, which I thought was crazy. <laughs> Um, maybe that's like my hidden talent is to be a Google reviews person. Um, so I'm kind of like, okay, I want to set up my journal and have some stuff to do so I can go and just kind of like enjoy the vibes. Okay. It's gloomy 55. Oh, that seems cold for Tucson. But then again, I guess I've never been to Tucson. I've only been to Phoenix. Both jobs tomorrow. Oh, I hope... Uh, I hope you're able to get some rest. Um, so these are my three that I posted in the last video. Let's see here. Yeah, 39 degrees. Yeah, it was like, it was I think 40. And I started driving this morning to go, um, I had to go to the hardware store this morning and it was sleeting when I was driving there, so. Y'all be careful because people, when it when it gets snowy or icy, people do, well, I feel like people here are bad drivers anyway, but don't tell me when I said that. Um, people are wild when it comes to that. So I think I'm gonna put a, use a black band because we're just totally mixing up the colors and we're not, that's just what we're doing this year. Um, so for anyone who doesn't know you need a, band if you want to have more than two notebooks it's like an accessory you can get i'm sure there's other methods but i am a traveler's company purist so i only really use their products in these notebooks because that's just who i am um i know there's other ways that you can do this but i just buy their product and use it so to do that you have to Wait, let me look at my old notebook. It does give you instructions, but like my brain. Okay, so here are the instructions. So how to set two refills and then how to set three refills. So you place two notebooks and open the middle page and then that's where you put the band. Okay, so let's pick our front and back notebooks because those are the ones that you use with the band. So as I shared, we are gonna try a monthly, which is so unlike me. I'm not a monthly person at all. I'm a weekly, true and true. And I think I'm gonna try to draw my cat in each day of the month. Um, so that's gonna be our front notebook. And then our back notebook, I want it to be, I don't know. I think I want my back notebook to be my like junk journaling and traveler's notebook style journaling and then I want my middle one to be my long form journaling because I kind of decided I want to try having them in separate notebooks so we have a selection here what paper do you think would be good for like the traveler's notebook piece I, I would love to wait which the, what ones do I already have open this is Oh, this is the lightweight refill. And I'm thinking of doing this for my long form journaling because it has what, double the number of pages. And I feel like maybe that would help me feel more motivated. So let's put this aside for our long form journaling. Did anyone um, start using something they like got for Christmas, whether it was a gift or it's something you bought yourself? Did anyone start? I don't know, maybe you got like a new air fryer or something. Let us know if you're using anything that you got. Um, I still need to set up my Jibun Techo. That's on my list. 
Also, sorry, my thoughts are all over the place. I want to do different inserts than I had before. So before I had a weekly, a lined, and a cream blank. So I don't want to do those this time. So we have a plain white, but we're going to have a plain white with a lightweight. So we're not going to do that. And I have a short cream paper. I kind of want to, I don't know, do I want a grid? Do I want a craft paper one? Is that too much? Here's one that I started and never finished. This is from 2021, when I first tried to do Job's challenge. And I stopped, I only did a couple days. Um, so I could just continue with this one. I mean, I already have, it already has pre-decorated with all my fruit stickers. So Kim said that your sister moved out Christmas week, so I'm loving living alone and moving furniture out in years of her room. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sure family's great, but there's nothing better than having your own peace and having your own space. Okay, Kim votes for craft paper for junk journaling. So I think what we'll do is since we started this one in 2021, we're going to use this plain craft paper. That way it's like I'm not opening a whole new notebook. And we already have some decorations done with all my fruit stickers. This one is an undated um, one that I tried in 2017. Wow. Um, where was I in 2017? I was, in, well, it was clearly I was traveling because the only thing in here are check in for flight. Okay, so <laughs> on May 16th, 2017, I flew from Moscow to London Heathrow at 10 o'clock. And then I never really did anything else with that month. I did start keeping washi tape um, in the back of my traveler's notebook to have on hand, so I do know that. But let's hold on to this undated. Oh, and then I have even these washi stickers. Let's hold on to this undated to maybe try something else in the future. Other ones I've tried, I still have my Pan Am one, which I'm saving because I don't know. I have the sketch paper and the other one is the color craft pink one which I think what we'll do Kim is when this one is filled we'll try the pink one I don't know does anyone else feel like you can't start a new one without finishing one and I did get the accordion one um I had like this weird idea to like make an entire comic of my cat like an entire storyline or like my year in review or my something and do it just in this accordion paper. But that's more of a, like a separate project, not necessarily journaling. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, I would love, I mean, I've lived alone for so long that I can't imagine ever living with someone like but having a second bedroom for your office would be even better. Okay, I have a super lightweight. I have two super lightweights. Wait, should we use one of these? No, no, we should use the one that we already... No. Then I have the hotel one, which is blank cream. I do have a regular lined. This is a folder. And then this is my first half of 2023. Um... Clearly I have a lot, but this is what I collect. So yeah, a year review cat comic kind of sounds fun, but um, I'm kind of I'm kind of done with 2023. <laughs> so I, I want to move on to the next year. Okay, so maybe we'll do it for the end of 2024. All right, so we have our super lightweight paper, or no, this is just the regular, what one's this called? Refill lightweight paper. Um, we're going to use that for long form journaling. So we're going to put the band. Wait, no, no, no. I got confused. We're doing craft paper for journaling. The back. So we're going to take the band. And you go to the middle of the notebook like so. Um, 
and you band them together at the bottom. Okay, and because I'm me, I don't like it when it's all like, it's gotta be flat and correct. Okay. Band like so. We have our front and back notebooks. And then I'm just making sure, I should know this by heart, but I wanna double check. And then you put them under the leather, the original band, and then put the third notebook through the rubber band on the leather cover. So, yeah, how did I have it set up before? Maybe a cat monthly, oh, monthly cat review. That would be an interesting thing because the accordion's probably not that many pages, probably like 12 or something. Seriously, I don't remember what I did last Monday either. So I am right there with, now how did I have this? This is how I, okay. Oh, Katrina's here from Paper, Pens, and Coffee. Happy Sunday. Let us know what you're up to today. I know the day's kind of halfway over, but I was like, I want to go live so then I can maybe go to the gym before they close. I still need to set up my planner because that's really bad. Okay, so, and then we're going to use this for long-form journaling. So let's see if... You're waiting for your train back to Milwaukee from Chicago. Oh, did you get to do anything fun in Chicago? Now, why does this feel wrong? Doesn't this feel wrong? Or is it just me overthinking it? So in this one I had, you put the two underneath the band and then you put, yeah. Then you put the third one in the actual band. So it's not wrong, it just, I'm thinking, okay, it's not, Kim says it's not, okay, thank you. I just, looking at it, maybe it's because the pages aren't like filled yet, it just looks funky. Um, okay. So we got that set up. We might need to adjust the band, although if I put a pencil case in, probably not. Not gonna lie, I love the brown and blue. It's like a mismatch, I love that. Oh, that's right. Kim's right. It's because this notebook is the double double thickness. And then this is the monthly, so it's probably not, it's less than normal. So that's why it looks out of balance. This is the normal one. This is the double pages. And then this is like probably half the pages. That's what's throwing me off. Also, is this string for a bookmark only? Or is there another purpose? I always forget. Does it say anything on the... Okay, no, that's in Japanese. Okay. Um, so we have our notebook selections. Let's figure out what we want to do accessory-wise. Oh, you went to Atlas? I haven't bought anything before, but I've, I've looked on their website. Andersonville to a paper and pencil store. That sounds awesome. Did you get anything? Okay, with my traveler's notebook, I random have I randomly have a um, Marriott from Moscow, Russia envelope. I have no idea why this was mixed in with my traveler's notebooks. I did stay there for a couple weeks once, um, so I must have had like my traveler's notebook with me when I when I put that in there. Kind of a mess, kind of all over the place. Here's like the traveler's hotel. Um, pamphlets. You got a BK pen holder from Atlas. How is it in person? You got a bookmark only? Yeah, I mean, it looks like Atlas is a nice store. I'm also wondering, since Amber's in St. Louis, um... I don't know if you, like, there's a St. Louis art supply, because I know I've looked on their website when I was trying to buy a specific refill for something, but I don't know if they have, like, a regular storefront or if it's just an online store. No idea where this little, this envelope must have came with one of the charms or something. I don't know. I save all these things because, I don't know, I just do. 
Katie wanted to get to Anderson this Andersonville this week, but we didn't get to Chicago as planned. Well, maybe you can go to Chicago. How far is it for you to get to Chicago? Can you go on like a long weekend, like like President's Day or something? I legit, because I really wanted to take a trip during these few weeks of January, um, but flights everywhere were absolutely insane. Like. I'm talking for me to go to like Vegas or New York or somewhere like a direct flight, like a normal flight. They were like six, seven hundred dollars, and of course that's without a suitcase. I even looked to go to Toronto, and I'm I'm telling you, I'm flying on off peak days, right? Like they're weekdays, and the flights were like eight hundred dollars. So that's why we're just driving to Atlanta tomorrow to go to Kino Kunia because. <laughs> That's just as good. I even thought about going to Chicago so I could rent a car and go to, like, Mitsua and go to all of the stationery stores or to go to Dallas-Fort Worth so I could go to, like, the Mitsua out there and the Kinokuniya, but it just... Everything was insanely priced. I just was like, nope, not happening. Oh, Cheryl's here. Happy Sunday, Cheryl. Let us know what you're up to. Okay, Katrina said you got another TNC sticker release book and the first spiral notebook for my coffee shop cafe. Awesome. And at the other store, Japanese stickers. Katie says the best part of Atlas for me was being able to walk and talk to the people who know a lot about fountain pens and try them. That's a really good point, Katie, because let me tell you, when you go to Kino Kuni in Atlanta, all of the fountain pens are in like a case, like a cabinet. And I don't think a single person working there knows anything about fountain pens. Like, I don't even, when I go there, I don't even, I just glance at them through the glass. But, like, no one comes up to you. No one, like, I guess if I really wanted something, I could ask them to open the case. But, like, none of them seem, seem interested in that. So, that would be cool to be able to go somewhere where they actually know what they're talking about. Okay, Chicago is about four hours away. So, you get there a few times a year. Okay, that's not too bad. That can be, like, a couple-day trip. I mean, Atlanta for me is three and a half, so that's why I'm able to go tomorrow. Uh, I feel like anything between three and four is, like, manageable. Um, let me see. Amber doesn't know if she's been to St. Louis. I could be making St. Louis coffee. No, St. Louis Art. Uh, I forget what it's called. St. Louis Art Supply or something like that. Atlas is really good. Uh, pen and paper bar sounds awesome. Atlas is on your bucket list. Yes, let's all go to Chicago sometime when flights are not insanely priced. And then Amber says, it's love to be able to try the fountain pens. Yeah, honestly, um, there's an old video on YouTube, like old. I'm talking like 15, like when YouTube first became a thing. Where it's a guy in Japan who goes to fountain pen stores. I think it was like a little news thing made for NHK. And he goes to this like old man's fountain pen shop. And the man talks about like how you have to sit down when you write. You have to write your name when you write. Um... All that stuff. I'll try to find the video and post it on my community channel. Because, like, sometimes late at night when I want to watch something relaxing, I would, like, I used to watch that. Of course, it's very old. It's from years ago. Um, but you are you always should, like, be able to test a pen before you buy it. That's why when I went to um, Paper Seahorse in Tampa, they have a whole table set up where you can try the pens. You can sit down. You can try the stamps in your notebooks. Um, it's very, like, hands-on, which I love that. Oh, okay, Katrina's going to have a video on this trip later in her channel. Awesome. So we get to go with her, or at least hear, get to see the things that she got. Pencil and paper, guys. Pen paper and pencil, guys. Okay, two hours. We did the trains when it's paper parking. game. Well, that's good. Yeah, two hours you could definitely do, like, a day trip. Um, Amber's Jordan, you got a Decimo at Atlas because I could try it out. Super nice, total variety of pens. What color is your Decimo? And then a lot of... So does Atlas have more than just stationery? Do they have art stuff, Katrina? And then Cheryl says testing is important, especially with high quality. Yeah, if I'm spending a lot of money, uh, I want it to have... I want to be able to test it. I want a warranty. Like, I want it packaged nice. I mean, I feel like that's just like, you know, when you, whenever you spend money on something. So that's why when I go to, like, Kino Kunia, I don't buy any of their fountain pen stuff because it just doesn't seem... They just don't seem to care. Um... But it could be also because this Kino Kuni in Atlanta is still, like, not fully up to speed yet. So, we have our notebooks done. I'm going to do a pencil board and a folder. I'm kind of feeling this 
greenish, even though I said we're not doing green, <laughs> this greenish folder, and then the pencil board, maybe the Traveler's Town one. Um, I also have my Pan Am one, which like is my all-time favorite. Uh, yeah, this is like my first one. When I didn't know what a pencil board was, <laughs> and I learned about it from this. Oh, they oh, they are the owners of the store in Andersonville. Okay. They don't sell ink samples. Oh, they do have a physical store. Okay, cool. I just remember one time I was looking for a refill, Amber, on like something specific, and when I, I literally Googled it, and St. Louis Art Supply like had it in stock and they had a whole like web like information about it I could read to make sure I was doing the right thing. So I was like, huh. Oh, I randomly have these, I totally forgot I got these stickers for where they're from. So I'm sold on the folder. I'm not sold on using this pencil board. Maybe we'll Maybe this pencil? No, that, no. What about this one? No, okay, now that I've compared, I'm sold on using the town one. Sometimes you just gotta see what the colors, what, what the vibes of the colors are. And then Katrina says they do in stationery like Hallmark cards and they pencils like black wing for individual sale. Oh, they have a sample of the plotter, ugh. So, um, preview. Uh, behind the scenes is that I didn't order a plotter, but I ordered something that's similar to a plotter, kind of, maybe, from a different brand. And I got a notification that it shipped, I think, two days ago from Yoseka. And, of course, it's going to arrive when I'm gone this week. <laughs> so hopefully the package doesn't get stolen. Um but I've, I've always wanted to try the plotter, but it seems ridiculously expensive. It seems, I think it's like, by the time you buy a binder and refills, it ends up being like 250 to $300, which to me is absolutely insane. So I'm getting something that is kind of like a cheaper, ver much cheaper version of that to try out if I like it. Everyone who works there knows so much about fountain meds. Well, that's nice. I like when they're welcoming and they want you to try stuff and all that, all that jazz. So Katie has the champagne decimo, which is not the color I thought, but it be, but it became but became I could see them all at once. It was easier to decide. So you got a wide nib. Wow, you got a wide one? Extra fine or fine. I've become I used to be anti like fine or extra fine because I think I write big, but now I think I'm becoming a like extra fine. Because even some medium nibs lately have seemed th have seemed too thick for me, so it's funny how like your tastes change and you know what you like changes over time. Yeah, price point for plotter. I mean, I've touched the plotters when I was at the DC Pen Show last year, and they're amazing leather. Like it will definitely last you a lifetime. It'll get better over time, but I just can't justify that. You know, it just seems crazy. Okay, I'm sold on this pencil board and this folder. I always like to have one on hand for when I get ephemera and stuff. And then this is pencil board, which surprisingly I don't always use. I've learned some pens don't write well with a pencil board behind the page. Like some of them just don't work well. I mean, it's great if you wanna have the lines and the guidance. So I don't always use it for that. It does come in handy as a ruler though. And then I wanna have some kind of, I always, always, always have some kind of zip pouch situation because I like being able to carry everything around. So at the drop of a hat, I can grab my notebook and go and go do some journaling, which I've done a lot of lately. If you've seen, I've done some cafe journaling and such. And then when I open up my journal, it's really easy to, remove this so you can like lay flat. Um, but maybe I'll use my toe and to and fro. I feel like that light blue works well. Um, I used my orange one a lot this year, so we're gonna give that, she needs a break. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Whew. Um, 
Okay, let me catch up on comments. Sorry. Um, so Cheryl says, did you see the plotter? I know, for rings, right? You're paying $300 for a piece of leather and rings. And then Cheryl says, do you see the plotter-inspired planner on Etsy? Can't think of the brand. I went only as far as purchasing the inserts. Interesting. So it's like a dupe. And Katrina says, I, wasn't re I was really surprised, Katie, that the plotter wasn't as soft as people say. Oh, well, I think there's multiple kinds of leather, right? There's like the pebble one, the Italian one. I don't know. It just seems so expensive. And then Kim says she glued blotting paper to my pencil board because I use Tomori River paper notebook and it ju I just shove it in there when I'm in a rush. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, is it Ridey or Reedy Johnson? Hello, everyone. You've made it. Happy Sunday. Yes, happy Sunday. Let us know what you're up to on this Sunday. It is almost four o'clock here and we're just setting up a traveler's notebook to start using. Um, I don't know if I want to use my to and to, to and to and fro. Um, Cause I kind of wanted to use the, this to and fro as the cover to give a break from my usual laundry bag. Um, and I know it's weird, but like in my mind, I don't want to use both things at once. I know that seems crazy, but like I'd rather <laughs> not use both of these. So maybe we'll stick with the plastic pouch and see how that looks. Um, I also like the plastic just because it's nice to have that protection in case anything leaks. Let's see. Um, Wooza? Wooza. Um, Righty is listening to Miles Davis while I tune into you. That's a lot of things happening at once, isn't it? Um, Katie says you don't really like rings because I'm left-handed. Oh, yeah. Um, there's, there's like a whole sub culture of left-handed products for stationery, isn't there? Like, I know like the Sarasa dry pens and I see Pelican has a lot of like left things made for left-handers. Unless you wanted to use it like this way vertically, I'm sure there's a way that could be interesting. Um... Oh, we have a lot of lefties here today on the live stream. Okay. So I am, before I set out to do journaling and take this with me tomorrow, I'm going to replace all the items in the thing so we can just take them out. Like this is what I used for Christmas journaling. And I kind of just want to change up the whole juju of the whole thing. I did basically finish out this washi tape thing um, so we got to refill that with some different washi tapes. I want to change up the writing implements I'm going to use because we should just change it up since it's a new year. I probably will still stick to using this Tombow glue stick that I like because I don't know. I feel like eventually these will dry out. I'd rather finish this up because adhesive tapes the ones I have, <clears throat> sorry, the ones I have will totally last anyway. So since we already opened this, we've been using it. Let's just finish that up. And then I'm not going to use these like clips. And then I always carry stamps in case I'm out somewhere and I want to mail something. Um, it's always like a thing of stamps. Can't hurt. And yeah, but normally these are the items that I carry, like something to write with, something to cut with, something to glue with, something to white out with, some kind of clip or rubber band. And this is usually not even stationary related. This is for when you're out somewhere and these just come in handy for different things. Some kind of washi tape situation, some, some type of sticker situation for when you're just feeling uninspired and you want to fill up a page a little bit. Stamps, like I said, and yeah, so I'm gonna go through later and kind of pick a different set of, like rotating things in and out. I don't know if anyone does that where you like rotate out which pen you're using. So for example, like I use this Pilot a lot and now I will retire her for a little bit, use something different. Um, 
One other thing I wanted to do on this stream, because I feel like it'd be fun and y'all can give me advice, because you probably know way more than I do. Um, I have my Traveler's Company limited edition, whatever you call it, brass pen that says shenanigans on it and has the coffee logo. I want to hack the ink in this because the ink, not the ink, the ink and the tip are too small for me. So if I go here, let's open it up. And I just write, maybe it's not too small. It's just too like thin for me for like long form journaling. So I don't use it that much, but I want to um, add it to this notebook. So let's work on a hack. Um, let me catch up with the comments. Yeah, see lefties, you're saving yourself money because you're not tempted to buy the $300 plotter. <laughs> um, you have one rings, yet when I use it, I take... Yeah, yeah, I've learned that the thing... Okay, we'll talk about the thing that I'm going to have eventually, but like I've learned the hard way through my file effects that you have to take stuff out if you don't want to rip the pages and if you want to work with more space because the rings take up so much space when you're writing and it drives me crazy. Journal survival kit. Yes, you need to have like a set. Wait, Amber's a lefty too? This is crazy. <laughs> um, you need to have a set group of things so when you feel inspired, you can just grab this and go. And I learned that the hard way where this choice overload thing happens and I'll sit down and be like, okay, it's time to work and do stuff in my journal. But then I'm like, oh, what do I use? Like, do I use this washi? Do I pick this? If you pick things and have it all, and it has to fit in here. You can't have more than what fits in here because then you can just like have one thing and just grab it and go. That helps with like the choice overload. But that's a good name for it, the journal survival kit. Um, Guy, I'm sorry if I say it wrong, Guy Meal or Gmail or Gmail. Hopefully you also start a show where you evaluate the books you've read. Um, let me get, so fun fact, I have another YouTube channel that I have not updated in a while um, AKA booktube where I talk about books and the channel is called coffee slash books. I literally have not updated it in at least a year or two, but I used to make videos about all the books that I was reading. Um, let me see. Last time I probably talked about what book did I talk about last time? Um, I'll show you the book. Okay. I don't know if I talked about the Jane and Edward that I read. This is a modern retelling of Jane Eyre, and it takes place in Toronto. I think we talked about this one. Um, that was a really good book. I'm currently reading Getting Lost by Annie Ernau, which literally know nothing about her. I was in an independent bookstore. I walked in. I went up and down the aisles. I started reading this. I thought it was interesting. I know she's like a contemporary French author, and these are like her diaries. Um, it's basically so far, I'm more than halfway done. Um, it has some interesting things in it that I've written and highlighted, but it's basically about like her love affair with a Soviet diplomat in the eighties when she lives in Paris. So I don't know. It's very, it's just interesting. I've never read any of her actual novels. I'm only reading this, which is categorized as memoir. So that's what I'm currently reading. Okay, let me catch up on comments so you don't get bored with pens. Job did a hack. Yeah, I think he did hit a hack, but I don't remember. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all my refills and just see if we can do a hack for fun. Um, the Korea edition, but you can't justify $120. Ugh. Katie says you want a TRC pen for the aesthetics, but I'm going hoping to get one in person. Yeah, honestly, the reason, only reason I got this one is because I was at the DC pen show where you could order this and... It got shipped, I think, like two or three months later, the the blue, and you could order your um like customization. Or what's that word? Imprinting? So that's the only reason I got it, because I was like, okay, this is like, you know. Um it does feel nice. And honestly, I feel like I would use the pencil more than I would use the pen. But I just went for the this only came in a ballpoint pen. My wish list besides wanting to go on a TRC Japanese tour, I would love a TNC. 
No joke, when you got your TRC bear, the envelope was so small I thought it was getting getting punked, even though I knew it. Oh my goodness. They look big on Instagram. That's a, that's a good point. I wonder if there's a whole thing of people being disappointed when they open stuff up. I know a lot of people comment when they order like a traveler's notebook, like, it's just a piece of leather. I don't get it. And they don't realize that all the other things that you have to like put into it. So let's take this we're gonna hack, we're gonna try a hack and we're doing it live for the fun of it. So if I open up this little cover, here's the little ink cartridge, little baby, just it's an oil-based ink, but that tip is just too needly for me. So first things first, I think we have to look for is a thickness. So we need to choose a cartridge that is a similar thickness. So it fits into the actual barrel and that's too thick. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have... Mm, well, I don't know. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, I feel like I could hack one of these Colettos. I feel like the Coletto thick... Okay, the Coletto so far, y'all, is looking like it might be it in terms of thickness. I thought about going through a bunch of pens and just taking out the inks, but for the sake of us doing this live, let's do it with like actual refill so I can see. This is a zebra something, too thick. This is probably, f oh, I already did something with this because it's sealed. This is, so this is from a previous hack and it leaked everywhere. Okay, we're not doing that. Tokyo Pen Shop used to have really good videos where they did, they have a hacking matrix on how to hack different things. And I think they actually have like a chart where you know which refills fit in which. Um, Kim got a one piece leather cover from Hobonichi thinking I could use it as a wallet for my TN size sterling ink, but it's huge. These cousin size covers look so small. Cousins are big, okay? When I had a full cousin and a, just a regular cover and then the cover on cover, that thing was big. That's why the cousin's like too much for me. Okay, we have another contender. This is a uni something in blue. And then this, so funny story, this is from Pentel. I don't have the pen in front of me, but like years ago, probably, Let me see if I have it. Um, so I've been reorganizing all my stuff is like in bags, so I'm kind of a hot mess. Anyway, I don't see it. But years ago, I had bought like a Pentel multi-pen from like Staples and the ink, like brand new, like I went in and bought it and the ink never worked. Like I literally couldn't get any ink to start in all three, it was like a multi-pen. And so I saw that on the thing, it was like lifetime guarantee from Pentel or whatever. So I emailed them my screenshot of my receipt and the item and how it wasn't inked up or whatever. And they sent me like a whole batch of free re like refills. So they shipped it to me. I got it in like two days. And they're like, oh, sorry for the inconvenience. And they gave, sent me a bunch of different refills. So just a reminder, like if something doesn't work, you can contact these companies and... If they're a good, reputable company, they will send you a replacement. I just thought it was weird. Okay, pick your least favorite refill. Yeah, that's, a, that's the other thing, because we're going to be sacrificing a refill. This is from something recently. This is Zebra Biotube. This is from, oh, is this from? No, that's not it. This one has potential. And I think I got this one recently from Tokyo Pen Shop. See how it's 0.7, that would be much, that would make me more happy than this. Oh, but what we could do, Katrina, that's a good point, is we could still try to put the refill in, because the goal is it needs to fit into the actual barrel. So this one, I feel like it fits, the body of it fits. So that's a plus. So we can open up anyone, really. So that is the bio, whatever. 
Cousin is A5 size. Yeah, and I, I just feel like the Hobonichi Cousin is just gets heavy, too. Um, so this is the Uni 7. I'd be really... I would love this one to work because it's blue and I love 0.7. Um, no idea what this is from or how I got it. I just have it. Let's see if it fits in the barrel. Ooh, this one fits. Now will it fit through this tip? Ooh, that's a little bit too, well. Oh, Zen Glyph is here. Happy Sunday. Let us know what you're up to. I'm glad you're able to join us. We're currently hacking a traveler's notebook, traveler's company pen. Um, so this does fit through the, the tip and it does fit in the body. Okay, so this Biotube one is definitely a candidate. I, I feel like I bought this though for specific, oh, I think I know what it was. It was like, a, oh, okay, if I remember, this was the Zebra something. I got it recently, right? So I'm talking pen shop. This is the Pentel one. I'm gonna skip this, trying this one because this is a needle point and I was avoiding, I don't want the needle point in my TRC. Like it, that's why I'm, I'm moving away from that. So this was that Uniball one. Okay, Kim Googled. According to Google, Oto needle point ballpoint refill high tech C Coletto. Oh, so a Coletto should work. The only downside to that is once I cut a Coletto, she is done. She won't be able to go into... Okay, the only color Colettos I have, though, are brown and pink. And... I don't know. I have... Nope, that's too thick. A lot of these are really thick. Is this, did we try this one? Let's be crazy and try it. My goal is to have a thicker tip. That's like the end goal here. Zenglyph says you're currently taking your kid around, then we'll try to try your hand at makes life goal planner. Oh, what kind of goals is it? Is it like yearly goals or is it more like smaller goals? Mm, nope, this one's a no go, <laughs> won't even go in. Nope. Yeah, see, Amber, that, the Hobonichi Cousin, I think once you really start using it, unless you're carrying a big backpack around and you can take that weight, um, it becomes way too heavy. That's what happened to me when I first got one in 2015. I had to leave it in my apartment because there was no way I was carrying it around. Because back then I lived in a big city and I only took the bus or subway everywhere and it was just too much to carry. So, the question is, are we okay with having <laughs> it stick out that much? I don't know. I think we're just going to have to just make the sacrifice and try it. Um, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to say we just take this blue uni one from Lord knows where it's supposed to go and try cutting it down and just putting it into this pen. Let me see if I can put it so you can see a little bit better. So we have the pen, we have the tip, we have the spring, we have the original. So I think what we'll do, let me know. I think we're just gonna cut it and there's gonna be leftover ink. So I have a napkin nearby and then I'm going to seal the top of it with a tiny piece of washi tape. Probably a smart thing would be to put it like a dab of glue over top of it. All right, we'll take some washi tape. We got tweezers, I don't know why, just I feel like I need to have them. And because this would happen to me, let's, we're gonna lay down our, our yellow napkin here for spillage purposes. Oh, Moxie. Let me see, Moxie, Mox Life, Moxie, oh, makes a, Mox, oh, Moxie Life, Moxie Life, like, 
like Moxie, M-O-X-Y, like you've got Moxie. Okay, original thing. One we're gonna replace it with. Scissors. Oh, it has an assessment of areas of life. And then you do a year monthly goal planning. Oh, there's certain parts of my life that they need assessing, but I just, yeah. So we're gonna do this. We're just gonna, everyone hope for the best. We're just doing it. It's gonna go flinging across the room, isn't it? And there she goes. Okay, so we have a little bit of ink. Before I continue, I'm gonna make sure that that didn't land on my Turkish rug. Um, I can't find it. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna find a, a blotch of blue ink somewhere later on my Turkish rug. That's fine, that's totally fine. Um, I think it's the right size. Let's dab off the top of it, just to get like maybe rid of the excess ink. Okay. The Turkish rug was already kind of ruined and funny story. Um, the day that I arrived and I put it in my living room, um, I was so nervous that I was gonna mess up the rug. So I like, <laughs> I would walk around it instead of on it, and it was in the middle of the room. And then I noticed on like the second day, because I had my desk chair that when I was, this is during the pandemic, so it was like everyone was working from home. And I wheeled out and I realized that some of the whatever got stuck on the wheel of my chair. And so it already ruined like one corner of it on the second day. But then I kind of took that as like a blessing thinking, okay, instead of living my life worrying about ruining it, it's like if you ruin it right away, then you don't have to stress about ruining it. So I, got, I fixed it a little bit and I got a little messed up, but now I'm just like, okay, well. Ooh, now she's rolling away. So that's why sometimes I say it's good to just get something messy on the first take and then you don't have to stress about it anymore. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking this makes sense, right? To put a little washi tape over. Like wrap up the top of it. Okay. What's everyone having for dinner? I need I didn't I need dinner inspiration. Oh, paper, oh, Katrina, your your headset battery is running low. Well, Hopefully the captions. Funny story though, sometimes I watch videos without the sound because I'm, I'm doing something else and I just wanna see what you're doing. So I just sometimes watch the videos and I'm assuming my interpretation of what's happening is correct, but it might not be. That's part of the fun. Okay, so I put a layer of washi tape overneath and I say we do a second layer just for for science, this is science. Tab, yeah, tiny dab of glue, but I don't have any. I don't have any liquid glue. I only have my glue stick and my Tombow adhesives. So let's try. We're just gonna try the washi for now. I'm sure I'll wake up one day and this thing will have leaked all over, and that's just gonna be part of the fun. Okay, so now I'm just putting on a little bit more tape. All right, let's see what dinner plans are, y'all. Okay, Cheryl's doing easy tonight roast beef sandwiches. That sounds amazing. Katie's going to do chicken and veggie stir fry back on the we need to eat at home kick. Yeah, well, Katie, let me tell you, I'm definitely doing more like, well, I, I'd normally do it during the semester, like more meal prep and planning. Um, so I feel you on that. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> And then Zen Glyph's saying, think about making cozy veggie stew. Yeah, it's very cold here. It's like 30 degrees, 30 some degrees, and it was sleeting earlier. Um, that all sounds good. I didn't want to go grocery shopping and buy more stuff since I'm leaving tomorrow for four days, and I like don't want things to go bad. 
okay. I wanted to make borscht, which is like beet soup, but I don't have any beets. So we're just gonna, that'll be something we can make later. Okay. Wait, did I do this wrong? Why does this feel too long? Hold up. Doesn't this feel too long? Wait a second. Or is it just in my head? This is, okay. Oh, did the washi tape mess things up? Um, I think the washi tape, we messed things up. Wait, what did I do? <laughs> this is so good. Wait, what, why does it seem wrong? What am I missing? Yes, I love borscht. And the thing was, when I lived in Moscow, it was like you could get it everywhere. So I used to have it like for lunch every day and stuff. But here you can only get it if you make it at home. And sometimes you just don't always want to make stuff at home. I think the tape messed things up. It is the wash. I think we messed, I think the washi really just, let's try taking the washi off and seeing if it fits. That doesn't seem right though. How could it mess it up? It's not that much thicker. Is it that precise? Okay, now we have ink coming out everywhere. This is wonderful. We're, we're going according to plan. So what if we just, yeah, it was the washi. And then another thing I didn't think of was we need to put in the spring. How do I do this? Oh, yay, and then the spring doesn't fit <laughs> because the this pen has like a little, I don't know if you can see it, it has little wings on the side. This was a, well, this is fun. We're having fun. So didn't think of that. Oy. Um, okay, well, let's just see if, if we try to force it in. Let's just see what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, this might actually work. I'm having faith. Wait, this is working, y'all. Except there's probably ink sloshing around inside, but we're not going to worry about that. Use a tiny cotton ball and stuff it. Oh, that's a good idea. Stuff it in to stop the needle. To stop the ink with a needle. Oh, um. I know I have cotton balls that are just packed away somewhere. So if we take this out. You can probably hear the person above me. I don't know if I told you all the update on that story, but it's fine. We spoke our piece. We turn it into a learning, we turn it into an opportunity to make a friend instead of make an enemy. I'm gonna try another the washi tape, but only put it on the very tippy top. There's a lot of pen hacks that I wanna do. So this, maybe this will start off our new like hacking thing. Wow, this piece of washi tape is so tiny. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. What is he bowling up there? Oh, Marilyn's here. Happy Sunday, Marilyn. Let us know what you're up to today. We're having a disaster of a time hacking a washi ha hacking a pen. Let's do another thing. Oh, you're in the poke bowl craze. I can't. I couldn't get into poke bowls. I think it's because like when I eat sushi and th stuff like that, like I'm still hungry afterwards. Like to me, sushi by itself is not enough. Tiny paper ball. Okay, wait, that might be, I have to find a needle of some sort. Let's just try this. This is our last resort. And then we're gonna take out some cotton later and try that. Okay. So the top is now just, just the top is covered. It does go in with just the top covered. Okay, this might be it. Oh, I forgot the spring. Darn it. Does anyone remember how I did this? Oh my goodness. 
the piece of washi tape came off. It's now stuck in there. <laughs> okay, maybe this is not for me. Now we have a <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Oh boy, he's in there. He is in there. Well, I mean, <laughs> so what if the ink goes in? So, like, the ink's not going to leak out, right? It's just going to stain, like, the inside of the barrel. I'm not even looking at that. So why do I need to care? Let's just force it. You're just having your co you're just having your coffee now. That sounds awesome. I only had one coffee today, which is not a lot for me. Okay, we're just we're over this. We're just doing it. This makes a fun story, right? Okay, put the thing back on. Okay, so Lord knows there's probably ink spilling out as we speak. Okay. Here he is. You got a f new neighbor above you. Their four-year-old is not verbal autistic. He can be quite loud and rambunctious, but I'm okay with that. He can't help it. Yeah, and as long as it's not like in the middle of the night, that's my issue. Like, as long as it's not two in the morning. <sighs> okay. Let's write we hacked it. Okay, it writes way better now. It's like thicker. For those of you who don't know, the, this pen is like really heavy, which is why I like it. And then this part is actually wood. So it gives like a nice wood smell. And then the rest is the brass. And this is like a matte covered brass. When you get just the brass one, it's all brass. But anyway, so the pen is working. So we're not mad about that. We just are not gonna think about all the ink that is probably spilling everywhere on the inside. We're gonna ignore that. Amber's doing her bullet journaling for next week. Awesome. And then Zangla says you can take a white nail polish and drop it in the pen, the pen ink in it, mix it and get, oh, well that was, <laughs> that's a little too creative, isn't it? Science. Yeah, this is all this is a science experiment. Yeah, now you know what to know what to do. I should make a whole video on what not to do when you're trying to hack your pen, because that would make more sense than what I just did here. Yes, teamwork. Thanks everyone. We successfully made this happen. I'm actually curious to see how this writes not on the craft paper. So here's a um Leuchtsturm, just plain. This is, I think, the B6 Plus. I love the size from them. Um, I used this notebook for my master's thesis um, when I had to, like, conduct a research study and interview people and take notes and stuff, so I can't show you that, but... Oh, wait. Okay, this is random. Um, there is a uh, boarding pass from D.C. to Los Angeles when I flew last year for work. Um, no idea how that ended up. I guess I was doing my research while I was on the trip and I had to bring my notebook with me. Oh, the random things you find. Okay. Um, this is nice. It writes much better than that needlepoint. The needlepoint was too scratchy for me. I like needlepoint, like I love Energel and stuff, but this Oto needlepoint that the Traveler's pen comes with is just like super, super needly. I just feel like every time I wrote with it, I was stressed out. This is much more of like an everyday thing that you could write in. So we're gonna put this in our journal, in our traveler's notebook that we set up. Ooh, I love Turkish coffee. I try to make it a lot at home. Um, I have a brekkie and everything. It just doesn't, it just takes too much time to make sometimes. And I'm not always in the mood to make it, but it tastes so good. When I was in Chicago last time, I went to the Greek town, whatever it's called. 
and had really good um, coffee. So, where'd that thing go? Okay, pen loop. German and coffee in Europe, yes. Oh, Vietnamese coffee, Kim, let me tell you, the other day I went to my favorite Vietnamese place here and I got an iced Viet coffee to go. And like, when you need energy, you get a Viet coffee because it's like, what, double or triple the amount of caffeine? Um, it slaps every single time. Yes, can you believe I went to LA, we have a job site out there and I had gone there and it was just weird because I was supposed to see my cousin's best friend and we had a plan and everything and I like checked into my hotel. I actually flew a day early so I could hang out with him and then like he kind of, did, like he said he was gonna, he was about to leave his apartment. I was staying in Culver City because that's where our job site was and he was like on his way and then I was like, okay, so I'm not gonna leave my hotel. I'm just gonna like hang out for a little bit. So I just, you know, had coffee, whatever. And then it was like an hour and 45 minutes and he was like, oh, actually I have like, I have stuff I have to get done. I don't think I can hang out today. And I was like, dude, I flew all the way here. I flew on a Sunday instead of flying on a normal Monday to like do something, but it all turned out okay because instead I Ubered over to the Kino Cunha in Santa Monica or was it Santa Monica? I don't know. I made a video about it. Um, and then I was able to have lunch by myself and like go to the stationery store and like I kind of like salvaged the day because I was fully dressed and waiting for him. Like he said he was on his way, right? So I thought he that meant he was on his way. Not two hours later, like, yeah. So <sighs> anyway, um, where do you all put these? The pen loop. Should I put it on the back cover? I know, can you believe that? I'm just, I, yeah. 2024 is all about <laughs> protecting my own peace and not, I have like a time limit now when I wait for people to respond to me if they wanna hang out or not. I just, I can't. Wait, this doesn't look right. Do I have it backwards? Yes, let me tell you, um, the best part about having schoolwork to do still all the time is that I get to use my different notebooks. I'm excited because I need to pick out which notebook I'm going to use for my PhD research this semester. No, that was right. It doesn't seem right. What was I doing wrong with this? You put yours on the front. Maybe it needs to be on the front. Um, oh, you have the Kyoto design. Well, so side notes. I might use this Clairefontaine notebook that I got at the independent bookstore here. Because what I like to do is because I have to carry around everything, I don't want to carry around everything. So I just have like one notebook for all of my seminars that I'm sitting in and stuff. So I might use this one. I might use this Kokuyo one because then it has like a folder built into it. Um, but I just, I'm trying to just think of things that like reduce the weight and reduce the amount of space in my bag but this is like a nice big campus notebook, but I kind of feel, feel like this size is, I don't know. So I have to start thinking about that before the semester starts. And then I have the silver Kokio one, but this is blank paper, so I probably wouldn't really use that. Anyway, plus I'm going to Kino Kunia tomorrow, so Lord knows I'm gonna spend money and pick something out, but I'm trying to use up my stuff. That's like another goal for 2024 and stop the hoarding and like not using your good stuff mentality. I just want to start using my stuff. So, um, I would, we decide I'm going to put this on the front flipping the pen loop several times. I, it doesn't, it's just weird, right? Like maybe I could, I could even put it on the top. Well, and I think it's also going to depend on, let's put a bunch of stuff in here. These aren't the items that I'm definitely going to use, but I want to put stuff in here. So it makes it thicker. Okay, so if it goes here, okay, and then, oh, and the blue's gonna go good with this blue with the cord. So I think I do need to tighten the thing a little bit, but honestly, it's 
pretty fine the way it is. This, I feel like, looks nice. The blue and the browns, because this brown, and this is totally unintentional. I just realized that this brown matches this brown, and then this blue kind of matches this blue, so we have it on. I think, yeah, I think the front side is working well. Um, what happens if we put it on the top? Whoops, I already like messed up the leather. Um, the top works, but it looks kind of funny. Also, it like messed up the leather already. That's okay. We're using our stuff. So I think we're just gonna keep it here. Yeah, I think that let's use what we have needs to be like, or even just like use your good stuff needs to be like the official hashtag of 2024 or something. Because when I go through all my things, I'm like, how come I haven't used this? How come I haven't used that? I keep thinking about, I'm going to save it to use for something specific. When I'm like, what are we saving things for? There's nothing to be saved for. Just use it. Um, it's like a mental herd that you kind of have to work on. And I'm definitely not ready yet, but. Okay. So I think this is gonna be our setup. I feel like it's acceptable. Uh, last thing is, are we gonna put it in this to and fro case? Um, I thought I had a different case. So I do have the um, bag from, what was this, 2018? But I feel like I want an actual case. Um, yes, use everything 2024, hashtag. Um, well, Kim is right. There's certain things that we certainly are not going to use, including the Pan Am, <laughs> um, pencil board and the Pan Am notebook, because I feel like in 10 years from now, I could probably sell this on eBay for like $100 or something. Because the Pan Am thing with Traveler's Company, I felt like was a huge, like, like all their stuff is kind of collectible, right? But I feel like the Pan Am was really a big thing when it came out. Um, and I actually, I did have another Pan Am notebook or something that I did actually use. And now I would not <laughs> use it for sure. So that's the exclusion, the, the exception from this new 2024 rule. Honestly, I have so much stuff that if I sold each item I own for like a penny, <laughs> I could probably pay my rent. You know what I mean? Like it's just so like at what point are you just going to use it? Um... Yeah, honestly, Marilyn, that's why I like to watch a lot of people's videos because it just gives me ideas. I'm like, oh, I should do that. I should do this. Why not do that? Yeah, so we're going to put it in the to and fro, and I feel like this works out well. Although, confession time is like, kind of feel like, and this is just my brain associating with things, the material of the to and fro I associate with like summertime. Because it's very lightweight and it's like kind of like what a um, tent is probably made out of or something. And it just feels weird to, to use this outside of summer. But that's just my head and I need to stop thinking about that. Um, so here it is. So you can have it. Everything would be in here. You could just grab it and go. One thing I will say I like about having a cover like this or case is that you could use this as like your surface top. So it doesn't fold all the way back, but like let's say you're on a picnic table outside or something and you didn't wanna put this on the surface, you could still use it and have this kind of like as like a picnic blanket type thing. So I do like that more. I mean, I, you can do it on this, but because it's only one side, um, I just think about those things. Not that I should think about those things, because we have ink just slailing around in there with no, just, it's just a free-for-all, so why should I worry about what I get messy? Because, yeah, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put some washi tape and stuff, pick out some new stickers, we're gonna use our good stuff. 
Um, but I feel like the setup kind of makes me happy. So, and we did it together. That's the best part. Um, and I like how the blue comes out on the tone to and fro case. So our like blue theme really just somehow happened. There we have it. You could throw this in your bag or your suitcase and call it a day. Okay, you do want to get a flat Lehib Labs pen pouch, even though you don't need it. Which one's the flat one? Is it the one? Let me get. I wonder if it's the one I have. Because if it is, I'll tell you it's totally worth it. <laughs> is it this one? Oh, no, this is... No, this is Lehib Lab, isn't it? This one I got, like, on Amazon years ago for, like... It was on sale or something, but I keep all of my, like expensive things in here. This one is actually really worth it because it's small and when you open it up, uh, it has like um, fabric. What's this like microfiber cloth? And on this side and this side, it doesn't have microfiber cloth, but it's extra padding in here. It's hard to, it's hard to tell in video. Um, so I put my pens that are like metal or things I don't want to get scraped in here. For example, this is like, this is the pilot timeline. That's like my all time favorite. I have a black one. This is the very first like expensive purchase that I made. Um, and then I have my pilot Lucina clicker ballpoint in here. Um, this I got when I lived, no, this is from Germany. This is online. I bought this in Dresden maybe. Um, and then this one I bought in Moscow. This is also a German brand. I forget what it's called. Um, this isn't a fountain pen. This is just like a regular ballpoint pen. But it's just like a. I try to keep my nice things um, in this container. And then when I went to a pen show one year and I did bring fountain pens, I carried them around in this. So I do recommend this item, honestly. Um, and then I have my, which one's this? Okay, this is my favorite brand from Poland, which um, I have a bunch of these. This is like the Zenith brand that I used to get every time I'm in Poland. And I don't take these out of the house because I don't want to lose them. But these are really nice, like classic looking um, pens. And so I keep this in here because it's like super... It's metal and I don't want it to get it scratched and all that. So yeah, this is the Smart Fit. And I just got it in black because honestly that was the cheapest one on Amazon at the time. I think it was like a lightning deal or something, um, but they do come in other colors. It's kind of like a Hobonichi drawer pouch, but smaller. Which I don't think I have my drawer pouch. Oh, here it is. This is the drawer pouch and I like this one. And I use this one a lot. It's a lot smaller. But the drawer pouch, obviously it doesn't have the padding or anything, but it has like the zipper side. So, yeah, this is definitely a nice one. And it has like a weird, I don't know, is it like, like a protected, like this is like a material that coats are made out of, like winter coats. So it feels, feels very protected. Okay, let me see what I need to catch up on. Yeah, this one I highly recommend. You saw a hack using playing cards to put washi tape. Yes, yes, that totally, I saw that too. Um, I did a video, Marilyn, about using a cutting board that I think I got either from Katrina or from Mary. I can't remember, I, I feel like it was Katrina that did it and I tagged them in the video when I did it, but like, this is a cutting board from Dollar Tree that I cut and rounded the edges using a corner rounder, and then I put a bunch of washi tapes on, and this is actually filled. I pretty much used this up in my last few journaling sessions. So you can take the washi off and just take a little bit you need, and then you stick it back on. And then I keep it in the back of my traveler's notebook pencil case thingy. Um, like I would have this and I would just put it in the back here. So then like I could have a bunch of different washi tapes and it doesn't take up space because honestly the hardest thing about having 
washi tapes is that if you bring more than one anywhere, it suddenly becomes like an issue because they take up so much space, whether it's in a pencil case, even if you put it in here, like the whole roll adds so much bulk, you know, like you really can only have one and then it makes it too thick and yeah, so. I usually don't carry around rolls with me anymore. I use one of those hacks. But the playing card thing is pretty awesome. Also, it's a good use, like, way to recycle things. Yeah, the dollar store cutting board, yeah. Highly recommend this, um, Zenglyph. This is my, this is where I, like, my nice, my nice things live, which I guess we shouldn't be separating <laughs> if our goal for 2024 is using it. But I do this more for, like, the protective factor because the... Like, it really is useful to have this microfiber backing because I don't have to worry about this getting scratched. I think there's some other pen cases that are like that, you know, that have this, like, protective layer. But for the price point for this one, it couldn't be beat. Um, the playing cards. Amber likes the dollar store cutting boards for making templates for things. Huh. So you make a lot of tags for my junk journal and outline for my bullet journal. Oh, that's smart. What do you mean templates? Like, do you, do you like write on the board, the cutting boards, or do you carve them? Uh, Marilyn says you like the playing cards. You had three sets and were all the same size. I've used those before. Yeah, awesome idea. Katrina says she uses them in your art journals for when painting. Leave behind a page. Oh, that's a good way to use it too. You cut them down so they fit in the pockets of their Moterm covers. Oh, I still haven't tried a Moterm, but I feel like. I want to, but a lot of their colors are just too colorful for me. And the prices went up on Amazon for them, so I haven't tried one yet, but someday I will. Yeah, Katrina made a video long, it was probably what, a year ago or a little bit longer? It's like genius to do that because I like using different washi tapes, but I can't carry around all the rolls. It's just unrealistic. Yeah, this would be really good then if you want it for, for protective use. Like, I don't use this as an everyday pencil case because I don't always care about the protective factor. The next one I'm going to set up for the semester is the one I got last time at Kino Cunha. This, um, is this Midori brand? Yeah, this is a Midori two-way pouch, which I'm going to start using this for teaching this semester. I had been using my little leather one from Milu leather that I use for the entire semester because I have to carry around like adapter cables for when I'm teaching and all that fun stuff. Um, so I, the reason why I got this one is because I think I'm going to use this side for like cosmetic toiletry stuff like Tylenol, lip balm, like those kind of things that you carry around and then use the other side for actual like pens and my cables and chargers and all that. I think this might work because it has two separate pockets and it's really, really sturdy. So we'll see if that's how we go, but I'm excited. I need to set up things for this semester because I'm actually taking three courses <laughs> for my PhD and two of them are literature based. So I'm sure I'll be talking about more books and then I'm teaching a course of course, I haven't taught before, so I don't feel ready yet, and I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I still have to make... So I'm teaching um, a composition course where the theme is about s pop culture and social media, so I think that'll be interesting. Um, I'm presenting at a conference in Atlanta in March, so I still need to work on that whole thing. <laughs> Um, I need to submit a proposal for a research study I want to conduct that the proposal it's due January 15th and today's what the 7th so we might have to work on that sooner rather than later but um, at least we have our journal set up right let's see you want to have a pet yeah okay so we're all good. Well, thank you all for joining me today. This was a lot of fun. We've been going on for 89 minutes now, which is awesome. I, yes, oh my gosh, let me tell you, I am taking this grad level seminar called History and Theory of the Novel, and it's like an applied criticism course about major novels. So I think we read five or six famous novels 
like, you know, Wuthering Heights, Madame Bovary, all that stuff. And then we have to do like a whole critical analysis. So the people that are going to be in that class are actually getting their PhD in literature, which is not me, but I'm going to be sitting there not feeling very smart <laughs> compared to them. Um, but I like the idea of learning more about novels because eventually, you know, when I'm teaching other classes, like I'll have to teach using novels, like I'll have a novel to teach and I want to be able to be able to think about it like con and conceptualize it more. So I am actually looking forward to that. Plus I like reading books. So getting to read a novel and then talk about it will be pretty awesome. Then the other class I'm taking is like a medieval, uh, med medieval materialism literature class or something. That's going to be interesting. And then I'm taking um, a medical rhetorics class, which will also be interesting. So as much as these things, like these things are fun, they take up a lot of time. I would say it's probably you spend 10 hours a week per class. So that's 30 hours. And then I teach for 10 hours. It's 40. And then I work my other job like 12 to 15. So that becomes 55 hours a week. So it's a lot. But literature classes are fun. For the most part, depends on who who you're with. Sometimes there's some people in those classes that need to not talk. Um, okay, Marilyn says shop Macari for a pre loved one. You got one for oh, is Macari like a um, uh, what's that thing called? Like a Poshmark where people resell things and it's like you can trust it because it's like verified through them or whatever. Yeah, Katrina, the topic, we get to choose our different topic, and I chose that because I did a lot of projects about vlogs this semester um, and talk about the role of vlogging because I don't know if y'all know this, but, like, the idea of writing is still very, like, based in the traditional idea of what writing is, that writing is words on paper, when in reality writing is not that. It's so many other things. So I chose to use, do, like, multimodal projects and videos and vlogging to show how vlogging fits with narrative theory. Um, I actually made an entire video on YouTube uh, for this class project. So I wonder if I like, I could like make it public and attach it to this channel. That would be funny if anyone wants to watch that. Um, so basically writing is not just writing. It's you're writing just from thinking about your videos and like posting a video on your channel, like that itself is a form of writing. So yeah, that's a lot of like what I study and research. Oh, you do buy and sell in there. Okay. So it's trustworthy. Yes. Literature class. Like I'm a reader. I like, I read a lot and that's why I never understand when people are like, I'm bored. I'm like, pick up a book. <laughs> There's so many awesome books and things you can learn and like world you can get immersed in like I don't know anything about this French author but like I picked up her diary and I've been reading it and it's just really insightful and it's like it's a little spicy um it's a it becomes a little spicy and then it becomes a little too much like in her head all the time so I'm gonna finish it but I think after reading this I need to read something that's a little bit less in a single person's head plus when you read a diary like I can only read this for about 10 or 15 minutes at a time and then I have to stop because she's basically obsessing over this, like, guy who's married, which, you know, um, is its own whole thing. But, like, you read a couple entries of it and, like, okay, like, girl, you are chasing a guy who's not available. This is kind of, like, hard to keep reading about over and over again. So, um Side note, my sister made this book for, bookmark for me at, um, I think they did like a Christmas craft thing. And she took, I, I don't know if it's PET tape or if it was just stickers. And they took like this acrylic and they cut it down and they made bookmarks. So this is like a little bookstore, coffee, tote bag with books in it, vintage couch. It's very me. So yeah, she gave this to me after their little craft thing. Um... I have another book I want to share with you all, and I think I might actually be making a video about it because it's somewhat stationary related. It's like an art book that I stumbled upon from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, so that might be forthcoming too. But Okay, thank you so much for joining us, Anglyph. Have a good week. I hope your week goes well. I'll let you all know how it goes tomorrow when I'm at Kino Cunha. Um, I would love to go live from there. <laughs> um, 
we'll see. Maybe I can just pop on and record a live and just like walk around and show you some stuff. Cause I've always wanted to do that, but at a store like Omoizaka, it's way too small to do that. But I think at Kinakunia, cause it's big and spread out, I might be able to. Um, and then, okay. Oh, Cheryl, you're reading Eleanor. Okay. It's completely fine. That was on my list for years. Like I said, I used to have a, a YouTube channel about books and everyone used to always talk about that book, and it was, it's was it been on my Amazon shopping list. I have never read it, but let me know how it is. Um, you want to vlog more? Yes. Okay, let's all try to do more vlogs. I, I do vlogging on my TikTok channel. So I do have a TikTok channel, but it's not about stationary. It's about doing your PhD and teaching college. Um, okay. Katrina, let me tell you about this before the Coffee Gets Cold series, because I picked that up when it first came out. I couldn't finish it. I probably read 80% of the book because I thought the idea behind it was so cool. And I love like Japanese authors and like the kind of worlds that they build in the books. But there was something about it. I couldn't finish it. And then when I was at the bookstore the other day, I saw that there's multiple versions now of the book and it's like a whole series. So I just couldn't finish reading the book. I don't know what it was. I, I could take a stab at it again. Everyone raves about it, and the idea of what's happening in the book is very cool. Like, it's really awesome, and I would like to love it. So it's probably going to be a Netflix series someday, if it isn't already. Um, oh, and we talked about The Memory Police, right? That was another book that I recently read. That was a 10 out of 10. Like, if you can read it, you should read it. Let me get it. This is The Memory Police by Yoko Ogawa, who is probably like one of my, everything I've read from her, or him. It's to her, right? I'm sorry, I don't know. Everything I've read by Yoko Ogawa was absolutely amazing, cover to cover. This and The Housekeeper and The Professor, perfect, like the definition of a book that takes you to a different world and you cannot put the book down. This was, I didn't like the ending for The Memory Police, I will say that. I felt like I had more questions but, like, I could not stop reading this book. Um, I don't know. Apparently, it's going to be a Netflix series or something. Don't know how true that is, but perfection. So, if anyone needs to read that. Oh, did you? which one did you get for Christmas, Katie? Are you talking about the coffee one or this one? Can, you re can I read it standalone or do you need to read the series? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, is it like a... Is it a continuation the covers look similar, but they're different colors. But yeah, Memory Police, cannot recommend enough. And then The Housekeeper and the Professor, which I think I have packed away, um, was another book by her, which is really good, but it also hurts a little bit to read. It's like kind of sad in some ways. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is also sad too. Oh, so Katie did get the coffee one, so maybe I do need to reread it. I know I have it somewhere. <laughs> I just, there's something about it. I couldn't finish it. Okay, so you can read the coffee before the coffee gets cold as standalone. You don't have to read them in sequential order. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we should do a book club. <laughs> Although now I'm thinking, I wonder if I threw that book out when I moved. I'll have to take a look. As you can imagine, I have so many books because... Just doing my master's degree in English alone required me to have like a whole shelf full of books because we usually had to read one book or novel per week per class. So that turns out to be like, you have to take 10 classes. Yeah, so it's a lot of books. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe if I do an audio book of it, I can get through it better. That would be something I should think about. If you read them in order, I'll know about the characters in the cafe. Oh, okay. And I think Before the Coffee Gets Cold is the first one, right? I know Barnes & Noble had it set up on a little table, so I'm sure it, like, tells you. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to let you all go. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday night and your week. I have to figure out, am I going to go to the gym or am I going to eat dinner or dinner or, like, the gym closes at 7, so maybe I need to get going and then figure the rest out later. So, all right. Well, if I go live from Kino Kuni tomorrow, if not, I will try to record something so I can either put it into a short or into a video. But 
I will see you next time. Take care.